microchip implant humans. A human microchip implant is typically an identifying integrated circuit device or RFID transponder encased in silicate glass and implanted in the body of a human being, aka Mark of the Beast. Brakatai Hawa, Brakatai Hawa Shai, Brakatai Hawa, Brakatai Hawa Shai, Brakatai Hawa, Brakatai Hawa Shai. Call Halal Lai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which means all praises. All right, which means bless Yahweh, bless Yahweh Shai. All praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone and salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War. And, um, I just basically this is gonna be a quick topic um, I was meditating on the RFID microchip the mark of the beast so I just you know I typed in RFID microchip in Google and this is what came up all right and uh, it's plenty of information on the chip you know you got this character chief Ephraim you know that's talking about you're not supposed to you know you're not gonna push and, and prophesize about the mark of the beast being a chip because everybody should know that in the law, you're not to take the chip. Well, that don't cut it. That don't cut it, man. All right. And uh, that leads me to my first scripture, which is, um, which is, uh, Ezekiel, Ezekiel three and, uh, 17, right? Now it says, son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. All right. So that's clear as day. You know, the men of the Lord, the men who have received the, the knowledge, the understanding of the scriptures. All right. And you go out there and you start teaching the people about who they are, who they truly are as a nation of people, as an identity, as, as their true identity. All right. You're telling them what tribe from, you know, what tribe of seed, what, you know, what tribe they come from, which determines off the seed of their father. You're telling them the name of the Lord. You know, you're telling them to prepare to repent. Well, you have to tell them you have to warn them because not only prophet just means to say before, you know, you're also set up to be a watchman. All right. To sit upon the tower. To wait for the Lord to speak to you while you, you know, you because you know the prophecies. And then you go out and you report. And one of the major, major prophecies is the mark of the beast, man. You know? So, you know, the false prophets are gonna be false prophets, and the and the righteous prophets are gonna be the righteous prophets, man. You know, scriptures say he that is holy, let him stay holy. He that is filthy, let him stay filthy. You know, it's gonna come a time when you know, you people out there that watch, you know, the men of the Lord, you scoff for, or you agree, you know, you're going to realize who the true men of the Lord is and who the Lord truly sent. Because when this Edomite, these Edomites, all right, when they declare or implement, you know, uh, force you to take this mark, this chip, you're going to know that it's the mark of the beast, man, you know. And all you false prophets out there, you know, you're going to be held accountable. The blood is going to be upon you. So I'm going to read again. This is Ezekiel 3 and 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. So we got to give warning. You know, we out there to tell you guys, your Hebrew Israelites, you know, which determines off the seed of your father. All right. The name of the Lord is Yahweh. The, the, the son's name is Yahweh Shai, not Jesus Christ. Okay? You, you, you must repent. You know, you must pray unto the Most High and contribute to the body, man. You must continue to keep learning, you know, and change, you know, the way um, of your wicked ways, man. All right? So we're giving you warning. We're telling you the prophecies like World War Three is going to take place. You know, and the only one that can save you is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And that is if, if you of the elect Shit we hope that we of the elect You know So it says and give them warning from me So we're out there to warn you man You know we supposed to uh, through the word of the Lord You know the spirit and power And word of the Lord is to build you up Get you prepared for the day of the battle 
All right, so it says verse 18, when I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, all right, chief Ephraim, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. See, key word, save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thou hand. Okay? So you got blood on you, my man. You know, and Zabak and the rest of you guys out there that teaches that false doctrine, man. That's not pushing the chip. Because if it's not the truth, then it's false. You know, let's just be straight up, man. All right? And Yahweh Shai did give us 100% truth. We got everything we need, man. You know, to be ready and prepared. All we got to do is continue to endure, continue to keep pushing, keeping our garments and waiting upon Yahweh Shai to make moves, man. Upon the Most High to uh, fulfill his prophecies. All right? So verse 19, yet if thou warn the wicked and he turn not from his wickedness nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. So if you're not warning the people, you know, of, of the of the destruction to come, all right, you're not warning them to prepare themselves spiritually, you know, to come back into Yahweh Bashem Yahushua with sincerity, then guess what? That man is still going to die, you know, but the blood is required at your hand. But if you do, guess what? The Lord said, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou has delivered thy soul. Meaning you did your job. All right. You did what you had to do. So going back, mark of the, uh, I mean, microchip, which is the mark of the beast. You know, if you stroll down, there's so much information here. You can get into all of these videos to show you the plans of the elites. All right. Which is, which is going to be, you know, this thing is, is, is like uh, fire right now, man. This thing is popping off all over the world. And it's here in America, too. Um, one particular article here where it says change.org, it, it got my attention. It says stop human importation of RFID microchip. All right. And it says the UN and the USA are trying to implement a law that requires everyone worldwide to be implanted with an RFID microchip. So what are you going to do? You're just going to assume that people should should uh should just uh, know by law. Not everybody knows the law. All right. No, not everybody knows the law. Then that leads me to my next scripture. All right. Which is um Isaiah chapter 58, verse one. It says, cry out loud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgressions and the house of Jacob their sins. Jake, man, Jake don't know the law, man. Jake don't know the sins that they do that angers the most high. So it's, so it's our job to forewarn them. And that's whether they, they forbear or they hear. They hear or forbear. If they receive it, cool. That's what's up. They're supposed to. But if they don't, that's on them. So the Lord said, cry out loud. You know, we go out there on the highways and byways and we project our voices and we speak. It says, spare not. That spare not represents their feelings. We're not going to spare anybody feelings or she a woman and she say this and her, her heart says that. Or she don't agree. We're not going to spare your feelings when it comes to this truth. You know, we're going to teach the truth. We're going to teach the word. The word of the Lord stands, man. It says, cry out loud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgressions. So we tell you, look, stop worshiping these pagan holidays. All right. Stop eating crab, shrimp, lobster and pork. Get out of those churches. The name of the Lord is not Jesus Christ. You an Israelite. What's your father? Oh, your father's that. Oh, you of that tribe. You know, believe in the Lord, pray, keep the laws to the best of your ability. You ain't going to be perfect. You're going to fuck up. But guess what? Strive, you know, don't let your sins weigh you down. You know, we're going to tell you, look, don't take it a mark of the beast or, you know, you're going to be, uh, you know, the example of Revelations 14, 9 and 10. When the most high rain calls a fire upon you. Well, let me say nuclear fire upon your head, man. All right. When you take that chip, the most high is going to send upon you a grievous death. With fire man Okay So these are things we supposed to do So he says show my people their transgressions In the house of Jacob their sins Now Jake can know the law Okay Jake can know the law Jake can, And then you know of course You study and you know other things Not to get shape ups Things of that nature You know not to commit adultery You know the law But guess what You know you have to teach the people that You have to warn the people man You know these guys are false prophets, man. And um, 
I just want to go back here. Let me click this link. I haven't clicked it before. Let's just to see a little bit what it says. You know, this is a quick show on the on the flow. I mean, in the flow, on the flow, on the go. You know. <laughs> um, let's see here. It says they're trying to make it out of. They're trying to make it out to be a good thing for us. All right. Uh, starting that, stating that it will make life easier and also reduce crime because no one will be able to make a move or speak a word without the government knowing about it. However, this chip is just another method of the government control. And this is true. This is all true. And a step closer to the new world order. That's facts, man. All right. That is facts. And uh, that leads me to my next scripture. All right. Because these Edomites, they believe that they're going to uh, be uh, successful. You know, they believe that they're going to be successful when it comes to their new world order. Well, this is what the Lord said about this. Okay, uh, Edom. This is what the Lord said. Let's hear what the Lord said. This is Job chapter 5, and um, I start at 11. It says, To set up on high those that be low, that those which mourn may be exalted to safety. He disappointed the devices of the crafty, so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. He taketh the wise in their own craftiness, and the counsel of the forward is carried headlong. All right, so the Most High, you know, when Esau thinking he's crafty and cunning, you know, with his evil, wicked devices, and one in this device in particular, what we're talking about is the RFID microchip, aka the mark of the beast. The Most High said he's going to disappoint him, all right, so that his hands cannot perform his enterprise. And he says, he taketh the wise, because Esau is known as the Chaldeans today as well, you know, the wise Chaldeans, they're wise, all right, very wise, they rule the earth. Okay, he said he taketh the wise in their own craftiness. And if you know the characteristics of Esau, he's skillful, you know, and crafty, man. You know, and this devil's a master at deception, man. Okay, it says he taketh the wise in his own craftiness, and the counsel of the forward is carried headlong. They meet in darkness in the daytime and grope in the noonday as in the night. But he saveth the poor from the sword, from their mouth, and from the hand of the mighty. So the poor have hope and iniquity stoppeth her mouth. All right. It says, behold, happy is the man whom the most high corrective. Therefore, despise not thou the, chast the chastening of the almighty. And that's strictly to you, uh, 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 Chief Ephraim. You know, the most I spoke about those titles, man, them flattery titles, man. You know, hey, you know, you may see this to take this as hate. <laughs> These guys hate to get corrected, man. But here at Great Millstone, starting with our apostles. All right, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, the Lord set brothers up to correct you, man. You know, get it right, teach the truth, man. And there will be no problems. But guess what? These, you can't say uh, there's no cloak for your sins, man. All right, I'm gonna say what Yahweh Shai said. There's no cloak for your sins. There's no excuse because the Lord has set up the men to correct you, and you know that the Lord already uses the men as a mouthpiece, man. So stop with the gang, gang, man. It ain't, it ain't all about the gang gang, you know, or this group against that group. It's not about that. It's all love, you know. But the way that these different camps and they vibrate, they push out wickedness, man. Y'all allowing niggas to come from the world to never get away their old, to never get away from that old man, man. You niggas are, man, it's, it make you mad, man. You know, especially me, because I'm from North New Jersey. This is the hood, man. And I know niggas, man. I know niggas. And it's hard for niggas to stop being niggas. It's hard for them to stop being niggas, man. They want to carry the nigger vibration into this truth. They want to walk around with garments and still be a nigger. They want the glory. They want the power. You know, they want to look sh look sh uh, sharp out there with the gauntlets. Hey, niggas will carry their nigger attitude over in this truth. And in this truth, we're brothers, man. We're not niggas no more. We escaped the pollution of this fucking world, man. You know, so I'm going to read that again. Job 5 and 17. Behold, happy is the man whom the Most High corrective. You see? Therefore, despise not thou the chastening of the Almighty. And ain't none of us too good to not get chastised, man. You know, by the Lord. All of us get chastised by the Lord, man. You know, and that's why the best thing is to do is to stay humble, man. You know, and, and, and be in order, you know, follow the truth, teach the truth. 
All right, so I'm going to read a little more. I'm going to wrap this thing up. Uh, it says, um, uh, this chip is just another method uh, of government control and a step closer to the new world order. With this RFID chip, all of our money, information, medical history, and everything will be programmed into this chip. That's facts. All right. It says no more social security card, birth certificate, ID cards, slash driver license, credit, debit cards, bank accounts, or anything. All of this information will be on the implanted RFID chip and the government will have the right to withdraw money from your RFID implant for money you owe them anything they want with or without your consent or knowledge. You know, it's pretty lengthy, but, you know, if y'all brothers get a chance, I'm going to leave it at that, man. I don't think I got too much um, data to, I mean, well, what is it? Uh, uh, fucking, uh, I don't know what you call that. Uh, uh, memory for my for the save these videos I got to delete something so I don't want this video to go to you know enough so I'm gonna end it with that you know brothers could go to this or maybe I try to continue and go back over this you know the RFID chip is the mark of the beast man you know and that's that man so I hope you brothers were edified by this quick show um in the flow on the go <laughs> you know so with that uh all praises to how about you shy by Shimra Kakodash I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom, brothers. Shalom.